Stay to the end of this video and get a special Christmas message. So we only have a few days before Christmas and we're gonna be doing some fun things today. The boys are gonna be making gingerbread houses and then the girls and I are gonna be making sugar cookies and decorating them. I found one that had individual gingerbread houses so they can make their own. Whoa! Yeah. Looks like everything is intact. I think so we want to see. A lot of times these come broken. Whenever we make these gingerbread houses, we put the icing on, we build the house, and the roof is like sliding right off on the icing, and we just can never get the houses to stay up. So I found this thing that helps you build your house and keep it together without falling <coughs> apart. So we want to try that and see if it works. So they all have their individual cups for their sprinkles and candy, but no eating. Listen, no eating I just it's for it. your gingerbread house. I'm gonna see if I can. I don't want my broken. I, I know, I try. I'll try to go exactly on the line, Jer. I can't play. watch. You can't watch? You just do Oh! That's I'm broke, but Jaira can fix Takes things. It. I'm gonna get the sugar ready and oh, let the boys piece oh, their houses together and decorate. For the gingerbread houses, we're gonna make edible glue. Add your sugar to a pan, stir it continually on low heat, and it'll turn into a liquid form. You can just add that to your gingerbread platform and it turns into a solid glue and your gingerbread house will not fall apart. Like tapping on it, it's like a solid rock. So, way better than using the frosting to glue Ouch. this together. Right now, I am gonna be changing the oil on my Prius. I have all the tools to do it, and it's not that hard. Noah has the candy shop. This looks like a really cool candy shop. Mom. Good job, Noah. Jared, explain to me what no is going on here. His is the sweet shop. I don't even know where the front door is, Micah. Door where am I? Whoa, Micah. That what is going on? Dad, look at mine. It's back. We are going 
going to be making sugar cookies. Earlier today, I left this dough in the fridge and now it's ready to bake. I'm going to get parchment paper, lay it out so I don't make a big mess. I'm also going to be having my sister yeah. help decorate. I made like sprinkles. So basically I had sugar and then I took food dye and I just put it in, mixed it. Ah, this is so fun. Sophia decorated all of these. All well, these ones, we had like a little contest. These are all mine, I try to make, it, oh wait, oops. I try to make an ocean. It looks like a cotton candy ice cream cookie. I need someone to taste test them because what if they're not even that good? Yeah, okay, so which ones do you wanna try? It's upside down. Yeah, look at that one, that one's the ocean one. Okay, try it. Tastes good? Good. So we are gonna be making bath bombs today. Um, we have our big family at Christmas coming up and we're gonna be making these as presents. We have our essential oils, cornstarch, citrus acid, Epsom salt, baking soda. The last time we made bath bombs, we had these giant molds. only gave like as gifts like three bath bombs because they were like huge molds. So we're gonna do the smaller ones and that way we can do like a whole bunch of fun ones. So we'll add this in the <clears throat> description so you, if you wanna follow the exact one I'm doing. Do you think that's good? Yeah. A little wet? Let me change. Oh, yeah, good, a little bit good, more that's water. Good, that's good. Is it? Yeah. First, we're gonna put lemon essential oil inside of it. We have lavender. And then we're gonna be using our lavender buds. Oh, it smells so good. Look how pretty that is. Eucalyptus is really good when you're not feeling good and it just clears, clears all your sinuses. So that's a good one to have during this time of year. Two molds. You kind of go like this. Thank you. It's coming apart. Okay. So we're gonna let it sit on the plate and dry because right now it's very fragile. Okay, I did this. We learned that pressing hard wasn't the good way. We we learned that you don't. We learned. <laughs> you what? You could you do you what? What did we learn? <laughs> we have a couple fan mail from you guys, from the Marriers. Sophia is gonna read the uh, Rodriguez family. Dear Moore family, Merry Christmas. May God bless you and your family in the new year. Your biggest fans. Everyone did a pretty good job getting all of us in there. It says, I'm Ruby, I am eight years old. We live in Alaska. Ruby drew this little photo. Oh, it's too Jaira and Sophia. No, it's just me. I'm 13 years old, I live in Alaska, and I have two dogs. Merry Christmas from Elizabeth. Fun fact, my middle name's Elizabeth. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, oh wow. wow! Oh, they have names for everyone. Okay. Everyone oh, so gets for the baby. Oh, <laughs> that's Aww. so cute. I made Jaira's biscuit recipe for Easter. It was so good. Always looking forward to your new videos. Five they keep hours. popping in half. We can't keep the ball together. It just splits. Thank you, Mary Ears, for all your letters. It's always a lot of fun reading and getting to know you guys. The work that goes into making these <laughs> are pre <laughs> How much yeah, does ingredients cost? Ah, a pain to make. <laughs> We're done with the bath bombs. This is literally the messiest project I have ever encountered or tried to attempt. I doubled the recipe and we still barely made any. And these bath bombs are so tiny. And it was difficult to get out of the mold. So I don't know what's the easier way to do this. Look, this is all of our hard work, all of our bath See, bombs. See, this is what happens. This is what happens. That's all we were able to make. We put it in, we do it really good. And then we just open it up and it's just like... It, it cuts right in half. We keep adding more coconut oil, more water. Maybe that's why. But it does work. We tried one of these in the, like in the cup of water and <laughs> it dropped it in and it went We're gonna let these dry out and then we'll package them up as gifts. All right, the girls are gonna clean up this mess and I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> We have a Christmas tradition in our family where we kind of just put the camera on a tripod and just let it go just for our keepsake. It's fun to see how the kids have grown up all these years. My name is Jeremiah and I'm six. My name is Jaira and I'm 14. My name's Sophia and I'm 12. I'm four. No, I, my name is Micah and I'm eight years old. My name is Mike, and I am 36 years old. Why do you have to say your name? I feel like... You're the only... Savannah, I'm doing this just to make Savannah feel awkward. 35. Oh, Savannah's not coming over. Okay. Wait, but... Christmas 2022. 13. I'm Sophia and I'm 11. My name is Micah, and I'm 7. I... Noah. Say chiggly. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jill, and I'm 5. All right. Christmas 2021, we are moving, so the downstairs is all messed up, so we gotta have our Christmas up here. Are we all friends? Yeah. All right. My name's Jared, and I'm 11. I'm Sophia, and I'm nine. And I might, uh, I buy. I did I am that. How old are you? Three? Yeah. Three. And this is Noah and he's one. <laughs> and my name's Mike and I'm 33. Oh wow. <laughs> and mommy is 32. 32. This is 2019 Christmas. 2018. Savannah's pregnant. 2017. Are you seven months, dude? Yeah. We started a new vlog. We started a new vlog, and we yes. almost ended a new vlog the other day, yes. but we're gonna try to keep going. We're celebrating our Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, and where are we? At our new house. <laughs> our new house, huh? Christmas 2015. Woo! Mike and okay. Man is six months. Jaira is six, and Sophia is four, right? Pretty sure you're four. Hey, Jaira. What are you doing? What are you doing? In order to fully appreciate the true meaning of Christmas, we need to go back to the beginning of time. You see, the moment Adam sinned in the garden, it cursed all who would come after him, making us all guilty before a holy God. Sin ultimately separates us from God. Our sinfulness puts us in the crosshairs of a holy God, putting us all on the same one-way path to judgment. 
God's holiness and justice demand that all sin be punished. We were all doomed unless someone intervened on our behalf. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So if the wages of sin is death, how can we pay for our sins? Well, we can't. So God the Father sent Jesus to take on flesh like you and I embody today, so that Christ could die and destroy the one who has the power of death, and that is the devil. For our sake, God the Father made Christ to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And this is the great exchange. Not only did Christ die on our behalf, but he also gave us his righteousness so that we can stand before God holy and blameless only because of the righteousness of Christ. And I will leave you with this verse, but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. So this Christmas, let's remember that there is no greater gift than the gift of Jesus Christ. And to him be all the glory. <laughs>